Howdy chaps, welcome back to some more Dragon Quest Monsters. Oh, the seasons are a-changing. Welcome to summer. And uh, welcome back to the paddock. I have been uh, busy doing a little bit of leveling off screen because we did attempt the rank F Mega Brawl last time and sadly didn't quite manage it. We were so close. We were so close. But um, yeah, so we've gained a few levels with everyone. I haven't spent any talent points, so we're going to do that straight away. And uh, I think more often than not, we probably are going to start videos in the paddock just because we can check the uh, the treasure trunks as well, which I hope we should be able to get another thing from now, hopefully. Uh, Mud Mannequin, right. So again, probably just going to stick with um, our primary trait skill tree here just to get uh, more abilities. Although there are some stats sprinkled in here, as, as you can see, if we get 30 into this, we're going to get more agility. Um... But uh, Mercurial Thrust might be nice, although I don't think we're going to quite get that, sadly. So maybe these talent points aren't really gonna gonna make much difference in the upcoming fight. No, we're pretty close, though. Pretty close. Now, Titania is also... Yeah, we're not actually gonna learn any new abilities. Unless I did put them into here. But to be honest, I think stats-wise we're okay. We're just by leveling, we've gained quite a bit of HP and attack and stuff, so we're just going to assign all of these. Um, yeah, yeah, it's a shame. Actually, I didn't, I didn't think about this. We probably, we probably could have done with maybe another level or two, but um, you know what? It's fine. The the levels should help us enough. Although we are going to get slime squisher with uh, Anthony, I guess. Um, not too bothered about that, though, because he's not currently in my main team. That's all right, though. Everyone everyone learns any everything. Attack, attack. And, uh, ooh, our little Komodo friend. I must admit, I'm quite tempted to use him, because he can heal as well. And he can buff. So he might be a better option than the slime, actually, come to think of it. Um, also, he gains a crap ton of wisdom. Holy... His uh, his stat increases are mental. Yeah, but I think again we're gonna go for um, well we'll put we'll put ten, we'll put ten into this, just to get heal and buff. Um, because I might end up going more into that bedazzlement blocker. Not sure. You remember the film Bedazzled? Remember that? I remember watching that in high school. Someone brought it in for us to watch, and everyone was just thirsting over uh, what's her face, uh, Elizabeth Hurley. Uh, Bre Brendan Fraser's in that. He's, he's great. He's just a great guy. Uh, anyway, Badger Man, we've got your points as well, and... Yeah, I don't know. I, th I was tempted to swap some of these monsters out. Um, you know, out of my bench, but, um, Tongue Lashing Heartbreaker. There you go. I think, I think we're okay for now, though. We do have options in, in, in our reserve reserves in the paddock, but, um... Yeah, I think I think we'll go with this. I'm really tempted to swap out Slime, though. But saying that, I mean, he's actually got a lot of HP. We're gonna we're just gonna see how the I think we can do it with this team. I think we can. So let's grab our reward. Yes, it's open or it's full, I should say. Five Sage Elixirs. Now those are going to be invaluable when we start running out of MP, which um, we actually already have some MP restoring items anyway, but yeah, it's nice to have. Right, let's go. Oh, actually, I did say we would try the Cyclops, didn't I? Or the whatever it's called. I, some of them are, sold, uh, are called Cyclopses, and I can't remember. Uh, where are we going? I think it was... Ah, oh, crap, where was he? I think he was at the wind, wind burnt bluffs. I think, roughly. Um, there are probably more areas in the plains that I've not been to, so we'll check those out. But I really just want to get this next rank done. And uh, like I say, we we must have got maybe got like at least two levels with everyone. I think. So hopefully that's good enough. Hopefully that'll do the trick. And was the cyclops around? Right, I really should have. Oh, hello! We got a thorny, a thorny customer over here, a prickly, prickly customer. You're new, I didn't see you here last time, maybe you're only a summer thing? Yeah, dragon thorn. Oh no, I'm in auto battle! Because I've been blooming grinding. 
Oh, it's got spiky skin, which means it hurts things that touch it. And we killed it. Bollocks. Bollocks. That would be a nice thing to have. I want me one of those. Um, crap XP. Now, people have been saying that, like, enemies in the mole hole give you reduced XP. At the moment, they're giving me way more. They're giving me way more. That's basically where I grinded. Um, uh, the mole hole was brilliant. It didn't take very long at all. I hope we see another one of those. Cause... Oh, yep, there's one. Let's see if we can grab it. And uh, then we'll worry about the Cyclops dude. Who we definitely are not going to get, by the way. There's just no freaking way. Uh, unless we get super lucky. Uh, I think I'm going to use the Beastie Bites on that. Right, let's... Um... Let's scout the Dragonthorn. Which again, just makes me think of Dragon Quest VIII. With the whole thorn thing. Rapthorn and all that. Come on. Oh, you're kidding me! Okay, he's only irritated though. We have another chance. So you're saying there's a chance. But yeah, my, our team is definitely a lot stronger than uh, last episode. So I, I'm pretty confident because we did get really close. We were so close to just scraping through that rank F. Come on. Basically 50-50. Son of a bitch. Oh, no. Oh, even the Komodo dragon's angry now. Oh, yeah, Frizz on, on the caterpillar. Not good. Not good at all. Right, we're just gonna have to kill him. Just gonna have to kill him. Uh... Yeah, my slime is on focus on healing, but he didn't choose to heal anyone this turn. I guess our health isn't low enough, which is fine, because we're not in any danger. Yeah, the Dragonthorn is probably still like a rank G, even though it looks more powerful. Um, I guess we'll find out, though. I still I still want it, though. I still bloody want it um, for that thorny skin more than anything. Right. Um... Any, any more gonna pop? Oh, we can climb these, uh, we can climb the vines now. Excellent, let's see what's up here. Also, I might change, uh, might change outfits soon. Because we've been wearing this one for a while. Oh, it's raining again. It rains so much in this game. And I know I've said it, I do like a bit of rain. But it's plumbing no music then. Oh, we just got more of these, uh, wing slimes. I'm, oh, I'm, I was just about to say, I was guessing that maybe the dragon thorn wouldn't show up in the rain. Nope, he's fine with it. I mean, he is a plant, basically, so you'd think, think now would be the perfect time. Oh, he's going first, though. Right, should I, you know what, just to give myself a little bit more of a chance. Oh, we've got strong medicine as well, I forgot about that. I'm going to use a meaty treat. Fingers crossed, everyone. Fingers crossed. Yeah. I just think it's a really cool enemy design, and I know I, I say that about most monsters in this game, but it does look cool. Hey, Dragon Thorn. All right. Okay. You are... Oh, now I've got my list up again of names. I, I am, again, trying my best to keep track of people's requests. Um, diddly 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 diddly. Now, no one has really, again, called dibs on this kind of enemy, as far as I'm aware. So, this might end up not being named after anyone either. I'm just trying to look. Uh, someone wanted to call something Chungus. I don't think that really... I have I have in mind what kind of monsters I want to call that, but uh, for now I think this is, uh, this is just going to be Dragonthorn. I should have called it Rapthorn, actually. Right, let's have a look at you. You are still rank G. Interesting, but you are definitely our first dragon-type monster. You are only level 3, so I'd have to level you up a bit, probably. Let's have a look at your, um... At your, uh, talent points. Gust slash whoosh, so quite, quite wind... Um, centered attacks. Um... It already, it does come with six points already. Uh, I think I'm probably going to pop you in the reserves. Maybe instead of, um... 
Oh, wait, no, we've already, of course we've already got a dragon type enemy. We've got freaking Komodo. Oh, and it was Lizzie. Lizzie was the one I was thinking of. Um, but I like, I like the Komodo. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly gosh. Right, well, we've got to, you know what? We'll get rid of Anthony. Sorry, Anthony. You're going, you're going in the paddock. Even though you're probably quite strong. Right. Well, that's good, at least. We grabbed that. Now, we just need to find the Blummin' Cyclops, if I can remember where it was. I think it was back over this way. Oh, look at the vegan... Oh, it's just sleeping on the rock. That's nice. Medicinal herb. Um... Oh, yeah, you see, I don't, I don't remember where it was. I think, actually... Let's let's zoom somewhere else a second. Um, let's go back to the Grady Grasslands. I think actually it was more this way. Zoom, zoom. And uh, if if I, if I can't find it immediately, we're just going to go do the the Coliseum and then we'll come back. I'm sure we'll come across it again at some point. In fact, was it not? I see, I don't know if it's going to appear in certain weathers or seasons. Is it not over this way? I really should have made a mental note. I should have made a mental note of where it was. I feel like it was um, in this sort of area. Oh, more dragon, dragon thorns just chilling. Okay. Um, yeah, was it not on the way to... Hmm. No, it wasn't over here. It wasn't over here, although saying that, have we actually wandered over this way properly? Not sure if we have. Again, it would be nice if there was a bit of music going on, but you know what? Can't have everything, can you? Anything down here? No. No, I... I've... Oh, 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 before the season... Oh, we got plenty of time, we got plenty of time. See what's up here. Just another bantam weight, I think. Which we don't need, of course. But probably another blooming pretty pebble, is it? Yep. Nothing too exciting. I was kind of hoping there'd be a chest up here, actually, but uh, sadly not. That's okay. Grabbing a few more things. Yeah, I think he might be on the other side of this cliff. Uh. Ah, oh, bloody hell, I, should, I really should. You know what? I might end up just, like, cutting this out and just... You know what? Yeah. If I can, uh, if I can find him, I will do. And, uh, hey, the music's back! Yay! I'll, uh, yeah. I'll cut to when we're, um, in the vicinity of said beast. Well, I found him, and a mole just attacked me. That's fine, though. That's fine. He suddenly attacks. Yeah, I'm not surprised. He did get the jump on me. Um... I might want to do some healing before- not- to be honest, I don't think healing's actually going to make any bloody difference with the Cyclops. He's probably just going to one-shot all of my monsters anyway. But if we can get lucky with a scout... Now, I don't know if it works the same way that Dragon Quest Monsters Joker did, because I think there was kind of a limit to the strength of monster you could scout. I'm not- I can't remember, actually. But we're gonna- No! Where's he gone? No! Come back! Come back, Cyclops! I wanted you. I I want. There he goes. Right. Would be nice if we get the drop on him, but I don't think that happened. Oh, the, even the music's different because it knows it knows I'm about to get murdered. You'll sometimes encounter extremely strong monsters while out adventuring. Succeed in scouting them, and you'll have gained a powerful ally. But first, you'll have to overcome them. A task that's easier said than done. Oh, so we actually have to kill it. I think that is how it works in. Um, in Joker as well, actually. We can't- we can't just scout. I don't think that'll work. I'm tempted just to try, but, um, we might have to kill it. Now. Yeah, no, there's no way. There's no way, man. Right, so we're gonna have to kill it, which is just not gonna happen, is it? Let's be honest. And, uh, he is actually called Cyclops. He's angry now! Great! Because things weren't going to be difficult enough. 165! Oh my god! And he knows Hatchet Man. Which is a great ability. Oh, 
Oh dear. We're not even going to get a chance to... We do have a chance to run. What are the chances actually of running? My escape is blocked. Well, I think we're about to wipe. And this might mean we're losing a bit of money here. Oh, the reserves get drawn in as well. Oh, okay. We did manage to run. Holy crap. Yeah, we won't be, uh... We'll be tackling him for a while. When your monsters sustain injuries or otherwise lose the ability to fight effectively, just rest it and in to fully... Yeah, okay. Your monsters are in need of a pick-me-up. You're far from civilization. You can always rely on healing items and skills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so... Okay, yeah, my reserves got drawn in. That's fine. And I... Yeah, that didn't happen in the, in, the, uh, in the Colosseum, did it? That didn't happen. So I guess just when you're out in the wild, your reserves get drawn in. Right, well... At least I tried. We we know we know what we're up against with this. That's what I love. I love when RPGs put a really strong monster in an early area just to kind of show you, like, dude, you're not ready yet, but it gives you a goal. It makes you like, oh, I want to train up and, and come back and beat that thing. And when you do, the sense of progression is massive. Ah, oh, it's so good. Uh, right, let's go back to Rose Hill. We'll rest up and then uh, then we'll tackle rank F. And I think we'll, we'll we'll probably do a little bit better in that than we just did against old uh, One Eye One Eye McGee. I think I'm going to change my outfit. I think I'm I think I'm going to change it. Oh, yeah, that Cyclops man. It's it's funny because that was I'm pretty sure the same kind of enemy that Joker threw at you in like on like the first island. Um, right. Item... No. No, 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 no. Items... Uh, I'm really hoping that once we beat rank F, we unlock the, uh, monster synthesis. Uh, let's... Uh, I, I feel like we again, we've not really earned the Cake Maker's Clobber yet, either. Or the Monstrous Mail. We're gonna go for, um, just the Gothic one. So, basically the same as what we've got now, but just black. Like my soul. Yeah, that's pretty... I like that. I'd wear that in real life if I could get away with it. Uh, right. Okay, to the inn. Rest up. Everyone tip-top shape. And, uh, it's really nice that we don't have to pay. Dee dee dee. Then morning comes. Right. Off to the Colosseum. Oh, let's let's do this. We, I'm I'm confident. I'm pretty confident now. I, I reckon this is in the bag, and I might because we've seen these fights before. I'm probably going to speed them up. <sighs> Plus, we have to pay the entrance fee again. Do you want to have a go? I do. Category F, please. F for fail last time, but this time we will, uh, uh, succeed. Succeed, but with an F. That's that sounded. I shouldn't have said that. Anyway. I believe in you. Thanks. Glad somebody does. No, I again. I I reckon this is it. This is the this is the run. Right. Can I? Uh, I can skip cutscenes. Very good. Now on with the opening bout. Yep. Let's brawl. So I'm guessing it's going to be the same team again. It looks like it is. My stomach is growling. I need some breakfast. Why didn't I have any breakfast? Right. Um, tactics wise. Oh no, my reserves are still in play. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> God damn it. Shit. Oh, bollocks. Well, I've 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 properly properly messed up here. This isn't good. We're not going to win with this team, even though they've gained levels as well. Wouldn't it be funny if we actually did win? Although, Dragonthorn is pretty weak. Oh, crap. You know what? Let's just auto and just see how far we get here. This isn't going to work. Oh, i tell you what, Zam did a lot of damage, didn't he? Freaking Alio the Draki kicking ass there. It would be hilarious if we do actually win. I don't think we will. We have no healer on the team. We have no healer. We're kicking out some good damage, but we... Oh, I really want a Saber Cub. 
Yeah, no, this, this, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot to change my bloody team. I am such a donkey. Yeah, we're not... Oh. I mean, well, well done, guys, for probably getting through this first round. Oh, Frenzied State. Yeah, Zam. Does a lot of damage, you know. Quite impressed with that. Oh, there's really, the there's really no point me showing this, because we're not going to win. Oh, uh, I really want one of them on the right. Just put me out of my misery. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, it's the Dragon Ball girl as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's just, let's just auto battle. I mean, the problem is... Quite... Well, at least three of my monsters do have quite a bit of health. So losing is going to take a while. Hey, you never know, though. You never... Maybe, maybe I'm not giving this team the credit it deserves. Maybe we can pull through. Although, Crag is going to really sting. And you know it's coming. Oh, yeah. No, I think... I think we... <laughs> I think this is the end of the road. Another crag and we are donezo. Oh, Komodo's down. Yep. I mean... Didn't do too bad, really. Didn't do too bad. It's gonna be it's gonna be really oh zero damage. I was gonna say it'd be really really annoying if Draki so if Draki somehow wins this. Which it might it is going to. Oh no, no it's not. No, we're done. Oh my god! Frenzied again? Just lose. Lose Alio. I appre Oh my god, we won. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. I, I, I win when I don't want to. Round two, yeah, the, I, uh, now we're going to have to sit through this. Well, this won't last long. This won't last long. Just, just, come on. Come on, game. This is a problem. I can't change my party right now. Oh, Frizz. We're going after the Flython, which is probably the bad shot, the bad choice here. Oh, ice against the dragon. Not good. Yeah, we're doing no damage to that thing. Yeah, Alio is basically our only attacker here, because no one else knows anything. Yeah. Oh, and Poison Breath, great. Oh, and Fire Breath. Brilliant. And Crack. Yep. Bye, bye Lizzie. Uh, we got one of them, though. Al Alio, I'm telling you. Alio might be worth popping on my main team, actually. Because I think Killer Pillar, while it's bulky, it doesn't really have any good attacks. So it might be, might be worth doing, actually. Oh, just, just finish me. Come on, kill me, do it now. Come on, I'm here. Can't believe we've got down to the last monster. Can, can, can Alio do it? Probably not. But you never bloody, nah, nah, this is, this is it. Oh my God, we won. We won. What? We won. I don't believe it. Alio, you freaking beast. Oh my god, how did- It was unbelievable. The winner of category F is... You mean all that grinding I did with my main team was basically worthless? <laughs> well, no, because the grinding did help most of this team as well, but... What the heck? The silent stunner! Let's give him a big round of applause. And some cheers too, come on! I'm- I'm flabbergasted. I don't believe it. We were so we were like one hit away from dying as well. No way. 
Zam, the power of Zam, man. The power of Zam. I can't believe it! You're really something else! Here's your prize for winning category F. I tell you what, I don't really feel like I've earned that, because the whole time I was just shitting on my team. What do we what do we get for winning? What do we get? Uh oh. Just monster munchies, are you kidding me? It wouldn't surprise me if you won category S one day. I'm expecting big things from you, young man. I wonder if there's gonna be a category after category S. But yeah, that's a ways off. That is a ways off. Oh my god! It's a meowgician! It's a meowgician! Have I set the cat among the pigeons? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm perfectly friendly. Yeah, I've definitely seen this one before. I don't remember if it's been in any of the games I've played, but I am... I am aware of this monster design. It's great. My name is Fergil, talent spotter extraordinaire for the Monster Mauling Association. Monster Mauling Association. Fergil. Tell me. Are you really fulfilled by this trifle of attorney? I love this. So many cat puns. Um, well, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think it was much of a tri trifling affair because I, I very, very nearly didn't make it through that time as well. You could be squaring up to far mightier monsters at the Morlaceum in Nadiria. The Morlaceum. Oh, Nadiria. Seriously, I'm not kidding. So, Kitten! Fancy going and finding out for yourself. Y yes. Music to my ears. Now, if you're heading to Nadiria, you'll need this. That, my friend, is Travelite, a hallowed hunk of stone created by elves in the dim and distant past. Okay. Use it right, and you'll be able to travel to Nadiria at a stroke. I could have done with this at the beginning of the game. Do 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 do. Yeah. Do you know how to fu uh, synthesize monsters, mate? Now, I don't mean to let the cat out of the bag, <laughs> but I understand there's an elf in your village. Uh, d no, 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 uh, d uh, d uh, d uh, d what's an elf? I, d I don't know what you're talking about. She'd be the perfect candidate to teach you how to use Travelite, so I suggest having a oh. word. Okay. Why don't, why don't you tell me how to use it? Mew -hoo -hoo. Well, I guess I'll catch you in Nadiria. Okay, then. Virgil. <laughs> like Virgil, but furry. Okay, I like him. Like him already. Right, back to Rose Hill then, I guess. Um, not much else to do here. What's the what's the payment? Do can I can I actually do the next rank? I could. I could try category E for 100 gold coins. Well, you bloody know there's no chance of me getting through that one yet. So bye bye. we'll uh, we'll be back. I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. That's crazy talk. If you have told me that that team would have done it, I would have been like, in your dreams. Anyway, back to Rose Hill. Alio, MVP. MV freaking P. Or MVD, most valuable Draki. Or MVM, most valuable monster. There's so many different acronyms you could use. Right, let's have a chat with Rose then. Although, I'm actually going to change my party before I forget. And you know what? I think Alio's staying. I think Alio is going to replace Killer Pillar. I, yeah. I I think that is a good idea. Um, actually, actually, it has a lot of agility. Not much wisdom though. And yet we were still doing quite a lot of damage. I'm sure wisdom affects spell damage. It must do. Um, yeah, so let's get... Uh, let's get our starter back. I think... Um, uh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll put the we'll put the slime back in for now. Vegan Dragora, and I think yeah, I think Killer Pillar is gonna gonna chill on the bench for a little bit. Oh no no no! Confirm. Okay. Right. Now we didn't get any uh, we didn't get any XP for that, did we? That's a shame. Right to Rose in the tower. Oh hey, what was your name again? <laughs> Devlin. Uh, did you know that sometimes Rose. Uh, Rose, poke his uh, head out of the window and stare us off into the distance. I wonder what she's looking at. Curious, isn't it? It is, it is. And it is autumn. Hey, Fizzy. Should we check the shops today? How you doing? Oh, bit of a stutter there. Um, let's check the online shop. We had a bit of problem with this last time, didn't we? I mean, to be fair, I don't know why I'm checking this, because there's no bloody way I'm going to be able to afford any of it. Uh, oh yeah, some good stuff there, but we ain't got the cash, I'm afraid. Mega medicine. Yeah. Thanks, babe. Yeah, cheers. Do you not, do you have any money on your fizz? Could I, could I, could you spot me some? Right. Do you serve any purpose? Because usually in Dragon Quest you go to churches to save, but we can save anywhere, so... Seems like you've you've been kind of relegated to, um... Uh... Just a bit of random dialogue. Okay. Right, up. Oh, you know what? Have we... I didn't realize they had a basement. Hang on a sec. Oh my god, there's a chest down here. I just saw it. I just saw it. And some pots. Hey, that's a bit of money. I need that. And more monster shit. Great. Who's going around putting all this into pots? Oh, there's shops down here. Oh, and a bank. Let's see what you've got to sell, matey. Uh, welcome to the item shop. What do you need? I don't know. I think, again, I'm pretty good on items, although smelling salts might be nice, but they're so expensive. Nah, I, I At least I know there's a shop here, though. How much money have we got now? Yeah, only 338. Not much. What is this? Where's this go? That actually looks like... That looks like mini medals to me. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Right, anyway, yeah, back up to Rose, see how she's doing, see if she can tell us how to use this travel light. Because I always like to travel light. <laughs> yes, I'm pointing out the obvious pun. But sometimes the obvious puns are the best. Did I smash this before? I don't know, I just did. Rose! Welcome home, Sorrow. How did you fare in the Monster Mega Brawl? Um, it was quite, quite a close call. G uh, goodness, don't you mean goodness? Uh, you came out of top in uh, on top in category F. I must make extra. I mean, I must make dinner extra special to celebrate. Oh, what we having? Hmm? You have something you want to show me? Gosh, it's ever so pretty. Um, yeah, we're talking about the travel light, right? Yeah. Oh wait, is that what I? It is. It's a piece of travel light. Travel light was made by elves long, long ago to open the way to Nadiria. It's the stuff of legend. How did you find a piece? Well, you won't believe this, but I. I a cat, a magician cat, gave it to me. I see. He asked you to use it to visit him there? He did. Well, in that case, you'll need me to open the way for you. All right, we're, we're going to Nadiria. Is it a one-way trip? I am about to perform a traditional elvish dance. I hope you'll enjoy it. Oh, I'm sure I will. Didn't know there was a dance involved. Some time, though. I only hope I remember the steps.
Oh, I think it worked. It was a very handsy dance, that wasn't it? it was like interpretive dance. I say that like I'm some sort of expert on it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Well, that there looks like a portal to me. Um, that looks really sinister, Rose. There were always legends back home that Travelite could open the way to Nadiria. To think they were true. I mean, the thing is, Nadiria is like the where, where our dad rules over, isn't it? All the monsters, super scary place. I don't know if opening a portal to it is actually such a good idea. Everyone in town is going to be filling the pantaloons with lots of trouser cake right now. My prince. Um, did I... Did that help? I, I, I assume so. I, what if I, I'm not going to say... I can't be not, I can't be mean to Rose. Oh, <laughs> that's a relief. By the way, Travelite comes in other varieties. With the right kind, we could visit all sorts of places in Nadiria. Ooh, all right, okay. Back in Rose Hill, I didn't venture outside my room just as you asked. So I was thinking... Do you want to come to Nadiria with me? Seeing as we're in Nadiria now, where I'm safe from Oh, wait! Humans, maybe I could join you on your adventures here. Wait, oh, I didn't realize... The, the whole freaking tower's gone to Nadiria. Oh, I was about to say, right, I get it now. Wow, I thought we'd just like walk into the portal and then just us be transported, but the whole bloody place is, wow, right. Um, yes, please do join me. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> I'm so pleased. Thank you ever so much. Yeah, I'd like to see more of Rose, and if she's going to be hanging out with us more, that's, uh, that's good in my book. Yay, do a twirl. Do a twirl. Aww. Dragon Quest VIII really has spoiled me. It really has spoiled me. I just, I want every person who joins my party in a Dragon Quest game to do a little, little, like, twirl and, or curtsy or something. Now, if you want to go back to Terrestria, you can do so via the magic circle. But first, let's explore Nadiria. Yeah, place full of monsters. I mean, she's, yeah, she's probably quite happy because no humans. And humans actually do seem a lot worse than monsters, but it's still going to be pretty, pretty, uh, we, we want to have our wits about us. But more monsters means more potential buddies. I am very excited. Um, right, let's go. Also, uh, M Mrs. Nunn, you, you might not want to go outside. As soon as you step out them doors, uh, you'll be right in Monster's backyard. Mind yourself out there, eh? Oh, yep. Yep, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. See you, Fizzy. Oh my god. Circle of Conquest Lower Echelon. Look at this place! That's where our dad lives, right? Gosh. So this is Nadiria. It sends a chill down my spine. Tell you what, she's come prepared, hasn't she? The size of a backpack. Yeah. Oh! Yay! Hi, Virgil. Uh, uh, apologies, Madame Muzel. Madame Muzel. I am Virgil, official talent spotter for the Monster Mauling Association. The MMA. <laughs> I I see what you did there. Virgil, you say? Did you provide us with that travel light by any chance? Indeed. I'm happy to see you made good use of it. This is the Circle of Conquest, one of the six realms of Nadiria. Each realm is divided into three parts, which we call the Lower, Middle, 
and upper echelons. Right now, we're in the lower echelon. It's home to weak monsters. But that's fine for a fledgling monster wrangler such as yourself. Yeah, yeah, but eventually, mate, eventually I'm going to be ascending the echelons. I'm going to be... Gonna be taking out all sorts of crazy stuff. So that would make this the lower echelon of the circle of conquest. Is that right? Yeah, it flashed up on the screen, Rose. We not paying attention. Precisely. And at the heart of it all is the Maulaceum. Nadiria's one and only battle arena. Oh. That's where monster wranglers from far and wide gather to test their skills in battle and you should too okay so basically we've got two different coliseums so i'm guessing that's not where our dad lives even though it totally looks like the kind of place where he would hang out um right okay that's a nifty did trick um i did also i've the music is quite a bit louder than the voices most of the time. I might see if I can change that. We go and take a look. Might see if I can change that. Right, welcome to Nadiria. Circle of Conquest, lower echelon. Oh, we've got skelly bones. We got skelly bones. Uh, a few people have called dibs on these, so I'm just going to go, again, first come, first serve. Um, if we get multiple ones, then I can name multiple people. That's fine. We got three skelly bones here. Let's see um, if we can scout one. Yeah. Oh no, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult. No. Oh, they're angry straight away. And they actually hit pretty hard as well. Oh, they've got a Helm Splitter. Ooh. Ooh. Right, we need to, uh... Take these guys out if we can. Ah, you see, I wanted wanted you to use Zam, although... I don't know if Zam would do much against these. Sizz. That's what we want. Okay, good. They do hit pretty hard. I've always, I've always kind of... Cringed at their um, like a giant freaking skull fracture they've got going on. It looks really painful. <laughs> ah, see, get some healing. Ah, Zam, right. Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Doesn't do much. Which makes sense. Oh, okay. They don't actually have that much health then. Oh, damn. Mud. The Mudmeister. Quite a bit of damage there. And, oh, yeah, baby. That's some tasty XP right there. And, uh, Al, you'll get some talent points, which uh, we might as well, might as well spend. Um, although saying that, we're not gonna get anything for it unless we go into more MP, but I don't think we really need that. So, we'll just assign... All of them there. Uh, pretty close to learning Victimizer, which, um, isn't that... Yeah, I was going to say, does more damage against um, poisoned or, or paralyzed enemies. Yes. Another one of Eric's uh, staple moves. Right, so we, we definitely can scout one of those. It's just going to take a little bit of luck, maybe, and some... Again, monster munchies probably won't go amiss. Um, I love how different this place looks, though. Really nice contrast. What we've got... What have we got over here? Oh, you know what these guys remind me of? The uh, masked tribesmen in the Dark Cloud games. Very good. What are you actually called? I think we may have got the drop on him as well. Leary Louts. Oh, we didn't get the drop on him. Okay. Um, <laughs> they just look so happy. Running around in their loincloths. Right. Um, again, guessing going to be fairly difficult to scout. So what I might do, just to start off, is um, we'll take out two of them if we can. Go for an attack on the first one. 
Alio, go for a Zam. Might not do much, to be honest. Um, Frizz. And Titania. You can go for a Sizz. Oh no, Zam did good against those. Okay. This is probably gonna finish that first one off, I'd say. No! Okay. Alright. Best not underestimate him. Alright, one down. One down. Let's, uh... Do... Mm. Yeah, it probably is always best to... Because the thing is, do I... I don't get XP for enemies I kill if I end the fight with a scout, do I? I don't think so. But it does make scouting a bit easier, because if it fails, you only have one monster to worry about becoming angered, I suppose. Um, but you know what, I think, I think I'm just gonna... Just gonna pop... A... Meaty Treat on this guy, and see if we can scout him. One in four chance, basically. Oh, we're not getting very lucky today. Not getting very lucky at all. Yeah, they do hit hard. Right, we're gonna we're gonna try one more time. I'm gonna go for just a regular monster munchie on him. I don't have much confidence that this will work. About the same, roughly. Ah, oh, damn it. Still irritated. We can have another shot, actually. We could give it another go. Stop. Oh, tell you what, my slime's about to die. Um, we'll give it one more go. One more monster munchie. Third time's the charm, maybe? Oh, it's had its fill. Oh, you can't just keep feeding them. Right. That's okay. Maybe. I don't know. Ah. Well. We'll get it. We'll get them next time, Gadget. Oh, I tell you what. We could have uh, could have lost a slime there. All right, go, guys. Heal yourself. Very good. So for the most part, I think you can probably get away with strategizing or just using your strategies, tactics. But um, occasionally, you know, giving them manual commands works as well. But it's nice having the choice. I think this this combat system's really great. It's simple. It works. It's very Dragon Quest. Um, you can't always tell who's going to go next, of course, but um, that's fine. Right. How much XP are we getting for that? 84. Okay, no items. Bit of money, though. Take that. Oh, hey! He did want to join us, after all. Yeah, you could join me. Right, who's going to get this one? Uh, again, don't really know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just coming across monsters that no one's really that bothered about or haven't mentioned. So again, I can always rename these off screen anyway, but uh, for now, you're just going to do that. Are you a rank? Yeah, you're still... Still rank G. Still rank G. Okay. Let's have a look at your uh, talents. So you also have buff, heal, attack. Okay. Uh, might be... You might replace like the slime eventually, perhaps. But for now, I think we'll just pop you in the paddock. Well, he is like level 7, so it might be worth doing... Right, can I can I get a skelly bones? K 
Can I get a skip? Oh, I should have maybe healed. Should have maybe healed, actually. There's only... Oh, no, there are three of them. Right, let's just get rid of some of them. So I don't, I don't want to deal with three angry skelly bones. That would be bad. Speed this up a little bit. Just get them down to at least... At least, oh, attack down. That's always good. Alright. So I think they're both very nearly dead. Right, one last one. Perfect. Now again, I'm going to use uh, some monster munchies just to give myself a little bit of an edge, but uh, we'll see how we do. Yeah. 43, that's pretty good. Yes! Skelly bones acquired. Excellent. Right, and as per request, uh, again, a few people have wanted um, some skelly bones. This is going to be a uh, volley. There we go. Done. Let's see what your skills are. You got twelve points available. We can. Oh, we can learn poison attack, decelerate, sleep attack. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of ailments there. Mm, this might be... You know what? I'm going to assign all of those. And I think... I think I'm going to pop you on the team, you know. Maybe instead of the Mud Mannequin for now. Because the Mud Mannequin uh, has some abilities, but I don't tend to use them very often. So we're going to... Mm, we're going to replace our starter temporarily. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, uh, Mudmeister. Okay, right, well, that's uh, a couple of new monsters. And uh, looks like we've got, yeah, quite a lot to explore. Look at that place over there. Ooh, I wonder if we can go there at some point. That does look like a place where we're going to go, right? I really dig the visuals of this place. It's very, very Halloween-y. Oh, hello. Oh, what have we got over here? Another new critter. It's another caterpillar, isn't it? Oh my god. It's a mad... Oh, it's a mad mollusk. Excellent. Right. Let's um, see if I can scout that straight away. Oh, no. It's, it's a toughie. It's a toughie. Nope. Okay, they're only irritated. Do I go for just taking out the other two? I tell you what, that thing hits pretty hard. Right, let's just, let's just fight him. Let's just fight him. I'm being a little bit lazy here. I should probably just take out the skelly bones and uh, the leery lout, but... Dun, 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 dun. I mean, there's always a chance of them joining you anyway. Yeah, this should be some good XP. Oh, the poison attack. Oh, killed it anyway. Never mind. I see if we if we did learn poison as well, if we did poison an enemy and we learned victimizer with the other thing, that'd be quite a good combo. That would actually work pretty well. So things to think about. I, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of strategy involved in this. And I like that. Oh, we did poison him. Nice. Um, might want to heal the, the Titania. Perfect. Speed this up now. Okay, that should be a good amount of XP. 71, yes! Oh, and eight talent points for the slime. Let's get those spent. Um, although, saying that, we'd only get slime squisher. Although, on our way to zap, which is always nice. 
Ooh, I could get some wisdom, though. I feel like that would be a huge help. Yeah, this will work, actually. If I just put two into that to get Slime Squisher, and then pop five into that, we get 16 wisdom. Yes, and then we'll save the rest of the points. Well, the one point for now. So maybe our healing just became a bit more potent. I'm not sure. Again, I'll tell you what, that doesn't look fun, does it? Is that a chest over there? I think that's a chest over there. There are monsters swimming in that shit, by the way. Okay. I think a mad mollusk nearly got me. Right, let's see what this is over here. Just another medicinal herb. Yeah. There's definitely a chest over there. I have a feeling if I try walking through that, I'm going to take some damage. But um, I think, actually, this is probably a good place to end it. Thank you very much for watching. Next time, we'll explore more of uh, Nidiria, see if we can get a few more monsters, level them up, and head to the uh, the, the ma mausoleum. I, uh, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, chaps. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye for now.